U.S. Navy Seabees. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. If this is your first time with us, our voices are disguised so we can give you information on just about anything without being detected. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Navy Seabees. Seabees, spelled like this, get their name from CV, which stands for Construction Battalion. See what they did there? It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Seabees are the construction force for the Navy. Speaking of the Navy, are you interested in joining the Navy but never touching a ship? The Seabees may be for you. They are some of the sailors that actually never step foot on a ship. Yes, you can be in the Navy and never be on a ship. The more you know. We're going to be going over the Seabees training pipeline, what they do, the different jobs within the Seabees, and much more. If you're interested in joining the Seabees, or the Navy in general, you definitely need to watch this video until the end. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. So like we said, Seabees are the construction force for the Navy, and they have a lot of history behind them. They were stood up in World War II, and have been making impacts, as well as structures, in U.S. military warfighting ever since. Seabees are able to work and defend themselves at construction sites outside of their base camp and convoy through unsecured areas, and they can build a variety of structures in just about every environment imaginable. But not only are they construction professionals, they are also trained for combat. They build and they fight, which is literally one of their mottos. We build, we fight. If you see a sailor wearing one of these on their chest, which is known as a skew, then you know they're a CB or in a CB battalion. This is the pin for officers, and this is the pin for enlisted. Before we get into the jobs that exist within the CBs, let's go over where they can be stationed. CBs are stationed at Naval Mobile Construction Battalions, amphibious construction battalions, underwater construction teams, and a plethora of other places. We'll focus on the active duty NMCBs, ACBs, and UCTs. Under the 30th Naval Construction Regiment, you can be stationed at Port Wanimi, California at NMCB 3, 4, and 5. Under the 22nd Naval Construction Regiment, you can be stationed at Gulfport, Mississippi at NMCB 1, 11, and 133. ACB 1 is located in Coronado, California, and ACB 2 is in Little Creek, Virginia. UCT 1 is at Little Creek, Virginia, and UCT 2 is at Port Wanimi, California. If you become a CB, you can be stationed at any of these locations. Okay, so you have a brief overview of what CBs are, what they do, and where they can be stationed. Let's go over the seven ratings, or jobs, that exist in the CB community. After we talk about the jobs, we'll go over the underwater construction teams, how Seabees can get into DevGrew, and other cool stuff. Hey there, we hope that you're enjoying the video so far. General Discharge has a Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider joining the team. Link's in the description. Now back to the video. Okay, so the seven ratings of the Seabees are BU, CE, CM, EA, EO, SW, and UT. We just threw a lot of acronyms at you, but don't fret, we will explain them. Let's start off with BU. BU is short for Builder. Builders make up the largest segment of the CBs. They work as cabinet makers, painters, roofers, platers, carpenters, concrete finishers, bricklayers, and masons. Their A school is 14 weeks long and is located in Gulfport, Mississippi. Next is CE which is short for Construction Electrician. Construction electricians maintain, operate, and build electrical distribution systems and power production facilities for naval installations worldwide. Their A school is 20 weeks long and is located in a Shepherd Air Force Base, Texas. Now on to CM, which is short for Construction Mechanic. CMs maintain and repair automotive and heavy construction equipment, including backhoes, tactical vehicles, pile drivers, cranes, rollers, bulldozers, dump trucks, and buses. They also prepare detailed cost control data and maintenance requirements, as well as acquire needed parts. Their A school is 16 weeks long and is located in Port Wanimi, California. Moving on to EA, which is short for engineering aid. EAs prepare maps, sketches, blueprints, and drawings, conduct land surveys, perform quality assurance tests on construction materials such as concrete, 
asphalt and soils, estimate costs, and perform various other engineering technician functions. Their A school is 15 weeks long and is located in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Now we're at EO, which is short for Equipment Operator. You'll be surprised to learn that these guys operate equipment. Shocker, we know. Navy Equipment Operators operate construction and heavy transportation equipment. These include asphalt equipment, bulldozers, graders, cranes, forklifts, backhoes, and trucks. Their A school is 10 weeks long and is located in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Want to know the only thing below an E1? An EO. Now on to SW, which is short for steel worker. Steel workers work with steel. We understand. You're probably shocked to hear that. Get over it. SWs operate and rig special equipment used to build metal structures, fabricate and lay out sheet metal and structural steel, work with concrete reinforcing steel bars, perform cutting and welding operations, use special tools, and read blueprints. Their A school is 11 weeks long and is located in Gulfport, Mississippi. And last but not least, UT. UT is short for Utilities Men. UTs work with heating, steam compressed air, plumbing, storage, fuel, and distribution systems. Their duties include distribution and water treatment systems, refrigeration and air conditioning equipment, and disposal and sewage collection facilities at Navy installations worldwide. Their A school is 13 weeks long and is located at Shepard Air Force Base, Texas. All right, we just hit you with the seven rates of the CBs. That was a lot. Remember, their A school lengths differ, but they have one commonality. They all go through ECS, which stands for Expeditionary Combat Skills. This course is four weeks long and teaches students the basics of combat. We could make an entire video about ECS, so we won't go into much detail about it, but let us know if you'd like to see a video on it in the future. To close off on the CB jobs, the officer component of CBs are from the Civil Engineer Corps, but we won't go too much into that on this video either. Did you know CBs can become divers? Not only can they build and fight, they can dive as well. But no, they don't do combat diving. CBs are placed in UCTs, which stand for Underwater Construction Teams. CBs can become divers at Dive School in Panama City Beach, Florida. There's UCT Basic, which is 26 weeks long, UCT Advanced, which is 18 weeks long, and then they can also go all the way to Master Diver. That's some pretty cool stuff. We may do a video in the future about UCTs, but we need to see if it's something you would all like to see. If you want a video on it, comment UCT in the comments section below. Another great opportunity CBs have is their role in Naval Special Warfare Support, as well as the opportunity to be a part of DEVGRU, previously known as SEAL Team 6. Because of their training, CBs have many billets and opportunities to find themselves in a support role for special operation units and missions. Because of this, they also have the opportunity to go to the U.S. Army Jump School. We did a video on both DevGrew and U.S. Army Jump School, so make sure to go check those out if you haven't already. The links are in the description. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Navy series. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Naja. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.